and today we're talking about men money and the pressure to be a financial success and if you're a young man watching the show i absolutely want to hear your comments and your feedback on this double two triple nine once again is the sms line with me here to discuss this i have benjamin zulu karibu sana to the show men money <laughs> Those you're words. serious you're ready very serious of them. <laughs> <laughs> all right benjamin well of course men have long been regarded as the breadwinners in the family and you know they're the ones that are charged with going out to let um uh and just being the ones to lead on the financial mm -hmm. front but as we've talked many times here before times have really changed and um I don't want to call it competition, but they can now be complemented by women. But I, I, I guess in many ways that has also raised the pressure for men now to be very successful. And to us now, very successful means very wealthy. <laughs> Would you agree true. with that definition? I, I do. And nimekumbuka kitu I had yesterday. Somebody asked, zile locusti tulikuwa tunasungua na nazo kabla ya corona zika wapi? Doka zema zilienda quarantine. <laughs> Nimekubuka during that time we had thought it affected our economic you know uh, some income was destabilized now we have another problem that is also affecting uh, yeah. the economic uh, our status it's true that men uh, traditionally were supposed to be the hunters and our women are supposed to be the gatherers nowadays they are going out with us to hunt <laughs> <laughs> but traditionally the man is defined by his ability to provide mm -hmm. in fact power and money to many men are synonymous yeah you know yeah. and i told you the other day that men don't introduce family they introduce job and title <laughs> you women when you stand hi i'm so and so i'm my wife and a mother granny mother mm -hmm. uh, men don't talk like that uh, they say i'm a ceo of <laughs> you know i'm the manager of this so yeah. it's very true and not only is it a societal role it's also part of our ego the way we are made i'll give you the five, uh, the six stages of financial independent financial freedom mm -hmm. where men need to be mm -hmm. and the first one is financial uh, dependence when you are dependent on someone uh, you are on financial dependence if somebody else is providing for you whoever they are yeah. and the stage 2 is called financial survival you are earning but it's paycheck to paycheck hardly mm -hmm. enough for yourself you are barely above the water yeah. that's stage 2 yeah. stage 3 is financial stability mm -hmm. you are earning and what you're earning is more than what you need per month and you have some savings okay. but you still don't have other essentials apart from that mm -hmm. the other one is financial comfort financial comfort is you have salary and other things that are investments that are adding to your yeah. income that financial comfort your salary and a few other things that are bringing mm -hmm. uh, at that time you can survive for like two years even if it is stopped you have enough savings to last you for some time but it's the f stage five and six that i invite all men for us to aim at stage five is called uh, financial independence now your investments are bringing more than what you're earning with your hands more mm -hmm. than your salary mm -hmm. the investments are passive income. yes they are bringing more uh you know at, at that time you have insurance you have insurance cover you have enough money to last you for even more than two years even if you stopped because mm -hmm. they, they are bringing more than uh, even if you stopped working that one can sustain you can the last ever is called financial abundance in abundance uh, you are no longer working for money the, your investments are, are, are already enough to you know uh, fund for your lifestyle and you are pursuing a passion now you work for the cause you are carrying out your life's task mm -hmm. this is where you reach a point where even if you are employed you are the one who is calling the shots you have seen these people are they employed but they are the ones really in charge the mm -hmm. employer needs them more than they need uh, the employer mm -hmm. and they work for passion for calling they have enough investments to to you know to finance their lives they are working for other reasons that's financial banners mm -hmm. you are no longer making decisions dependent on mm -hmm. <laughs> you know you're mm -hmm. making decisions dependent on is this my life's calling right. so those are the stages i invite us men to consider where we are okay mm -hmm. all right um so considering those stages what are some of the things that you hear men are most concerned about today as far as their financial wellness uh, uh, um, and well-being, right? What are some of the biggest pressures kwa wanaume leo? Fear. <laughs> we have this fear of what if I can't sustain this, you know? And uh, when it comes, when, when, a, when a woman talks about getting a child, she's talking about something about her stage of life. I want to be a mother. Mm -hmm. The man is thinking of a project. Mm. Mutoto kwa mwanaume ni kama mortgage ya 20 years bwana. <laughs> From the time that child is born, bills and compulsory 
diapers. There's a lady who gave me a budget of that uh, mtoto wake anatumia diapers kama 1k per week. <laughs> like 4k per month mm -hmm. na jaisabu the other things that yeah. tu chakula hapa na pale na nini na yeah. nini house help so akaniambia even diapers alone per year will be 52k if that's you're not right. working and the mtoto anaweza tumia for 2 years that's of 100k and you have no income yeah. so uh, men are afraid of rich waking up one day and you cannot provide mm -hmm. people somebody was asking me whether niko kwa lockdown nikamuliza utaenda lockdown utakula hiyo lock <laughs> <laughs> Men, we think in terms of, will I be able, we have rents to pay, we have, and if you are running a business, however small it is, you know how the bills are, they are compulsory. Yeah. I don't know why landlords are not giving us discounts, the way banks are saying we'll extend a loan. <laughs> landlords are not talking. <laughs> I was waiting for that. We are big too. We should maybe consider extending it. The biggest pressure for men is inability to meet that. Even if men, when you meet every man, even if they have not told you, as long as you can engage where they are along those stages. Kama you koko financial independence na financial panda. Sa koko isi zingine. Yes, ako comfort, ama stability, ama just survival, ama dependence. Any of that, our biggest fear is as a man. Will I manage to provide? So if you're at comfort, survival, or dependence, your biggest concern is that fear of... Yes. We're going to take a short break now, but we'll be back with Benjamin as we continue this discussion on men, money, and the pressure to be financially fit and stable. Double two triple nine is the SMS line. You can also send me your feedback on our social media platforms at Switch TV KE on Instagram, at Switch TV Kenya on Facebook and Twitter. And uh, we'll be back shortly. Stay tuned. All right, guys, welcome back to Full Circle with Joyce here with Benjamin Zulu in our Man Cave discussion, talking about men, money, and the pressure to be a financial success. And just before the break, you were telling us that the biggest thing for men is that fear, mm -hmm. fear of of not being able to provide and mm -hmm. fear of not being able to meet those needs and sustain the needs of their home. So, you know, whereas women, you know, looking at a child we look at it as a stage of life a bundle of joy yeah for it's almost man, like an actualization mm -hmm. regardless of what your financial status is but for a man it's a project man is a bundle of bills that's a project my friend <laughs> a bundle of joy for the ladies bundle of bills <laughs> for the men oh yeah. dear all right so from what you're saying then it sounds like this financial pressure when you're talking about money it's not necessarily about having money to to own or have specific things mm -hmm. right it's about being able to at least at the very minimum sustain a decent yes. lifestyle and i want to give you the solution because you know now three quarters of us are young men in kenya when you talk of men remember we are talking of youth in yeah. kenya now yeah that's the other <laughs> only challenge. a quarter are already in you know jobs and businesses the rest of them are graduates trying to start out mm -hmm. and others are still in high school so that when you hear that five and below think of that young group Mm -hmm. The only advantage young people have is a lot of energy, mm -hmm. a lot of time. Mm -hmm. Those things, they have them in abundance. They can, they have energy, optimism, a lot of time, but they have very little money and little wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> the older people have money and wisdom, but no energy, no time. Yeah. The younger have a lot of time and energy, little wisdom, <laughs> little money. Yeah. The solution for us young people is to know, now that we comprise the biggest chunk, let's stop looking for jobs. From who? I'm just like you. Wana toka university wakienda kwa apply and some mtu wali apply, yaka apply mbaka siku moja, yaka nunua jugu kwa street, yaka pata imefungwa na CV yake. Haki. You send so many papers. <laughs> Until you end up at reception, ah, chapo, eh, we kele apo, we kele apo, and they never do anything with it. You even spend more money moving and printing and photocopying. <laughs> this guy told me in his photocopy business on Mondays is peak. People photocopying CVs, photocopying good conduct, photocopying wow. what? And himself, he finished campus in 1998, and I mean 2018, just mm. the other day, two years ago. And he, he has he's has just put business. up this, and his friends are still in the campus where they used to live in the same houses. 
They're still trying to figure out and all that. Yeah. So I want to ask young men, let's stop thinking of being employed. Right. You remain in this dependence for, for, for a very long time. Mm. The moment you leave university or leave campus, you need, think of what you can do with your hands. Mm -hmm. Move quickly to survival. Yeah. Start getting something small to fund your lifestyle. Okay. Uh, what you can do with your hands, even if it's not related to what you studied. Okay, come on, kill Please go Fine. and start immediately. But if not, it's okay. Don't beat yourself up for it. Get your hands dirty. Mm -hmm. Do whatever you can do. Uza uji, uza matunda, uza mandazi, uza tuviatu, uza anything. Mm. Write online, do anything. If you can develop a website, part of your studying was website development or something that you can do for common people. You know, you can come convince Joyce, this car of yours, can I maintain it for you? I'm cheaper than your normal, your regular mechanic mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm good at it. Prove it. Not, ah, yeah, I think I, I like this kind of in initiative. Many times we hire young people because of their initiative, not even because we, we needed them so yeah. much. And, we just and, like and also because we're not going to find the skill with them. I mean, the experience. Yes. Right. We don't have the experience. So it's that initiative. So, don't care, stop depending on being employed. Stop using Jabata jobs, Jabata job. Three quarters of us are start out like you. Yeah. That's the common sense. Another thing, stop valuing papers. Only government, NGOs, and big corporations value your CV. Mm. These young businesses, if you have no time reading CVs, we want competence. Can you deliver? Simple. Mm. So look for a way to penetrate companies without formality. Let me work for you for free this week. Niko free. Then come do so well, we take notice. To kulisa by the nauko business, work for. And then many people get jobs, jobs in small SMEs because they have 80% in Kenya SMEs, these small yeah. medium enterprises. Eh? You're getting informally by being able to deliver, being reliable. It sounds like for men, whatever age you're in, even with this whole conversation about money, men, and financial pressure or pressure to be financially stable, there's a humility that needs to come Thank with it. Thank you for using that word. Yeah. Don't come here with a sense of entitlement. I have this uh, paper in mechanical engineering. Okay, go and eat it. <laughs> Who wants to hear those? Then you, do you know why diplomas and certificates are hired faster? They don't have that big mentality. They don't feel entitled. Mm. Some of these people holding degrees. You know, many of degrees in Kenya, 80% theory, 20% skills. Mm. Diploma is 80% skills and 20% theory. Diploma people are hands-on. Mm. They, they, get, they get absorbed to the market faster because they're humble. Mm. They're happy to get a chance. The yeah. degree person has a sense of entitlement and they want this 100,000 salary. So to quit too humble. Thank you for using that word. Start, we, start, we can say we started from the bottom now. Come and start anywhere to get, you know, wake up very early when vehicles are cheap. Don't wake up at 8 or 7, then you're going to fight for matato and pay 100. But the guy who left at 5 paid that table. Wow. This sleep won't benefit you. Wow. But, so please be humble and start on the bottom. Stage two is allow growth. This degree of graduating does not entitle you. Yeah. You are not yet grown. In, in fact, in the knowledge, in school, high school, universities, you learn from books and teachers. Here in the world, you learn from people. Mm -hmm. So when you get your first job, you enter your first. Don't come here trying to show how much you know. Come with humility to learn. And I like that you're saying here in the world, you learn from people. Yes. Because it is the same people that are going to help push you forward. And that's the thing that so many people fail to understand that you need relationships. The biggest, no man is an it. island. The biggest mistake anybody comes to coming to Switch TV is to come here trying to impress us. Yeah. They will lose it. On he the had a yes. Mm -hmm. The best thing is to come like an outsider, eager to learn from everyone. You know, we have unwritten code in every company, in every yeah. culture. We have the rules that are written are obvious and matter of common sense. Mm -hmm. The ones that don't, the ones that matter most are the ones that are not, not written. That's right. You know, uh, about power relationships here, culture here, values, Very what important. matters, who is on the rise, who is on the decline, who has been punished. Those are things that are unwritten, yet they are they can damage your, your path. So come with humility to learn. Absolutely. Don't try to impress. So Absolutely. when you finally get in, try to learn. The other thing about men, um, men have this problem of feeling somehow they should be ahead of women. Can we stop that, please? Thank you. Can we stop that? Thank you. <laughs> It's high time we start using the word team. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and team, does, it's not just people who are working together. It's people who trust each other. That's Let's right. stop fighting. Let's have nothing to prove. If yeah. your boss is a woman, submit. Yeah. Even if there's a girl who started, there's a, girl, a young lady, 26, who started a company that is doing a lot, selling car insurances online so that you don't have to paperwork and all that. Eh? Yeah. And you can suspend it if you're traveling abroad. You're okay. not using the car now. She has invented something that is moving very fast. Okay. Now I'm imagining if she hires a guy who comes there with an ego. And my boss is just younger than me, he's just a girl. 
you will lose it my brother yeah. go with humility okay. submit to women even if they are younger than you those are two problems she's yeah. a woman she's younger than you but she's your boss anybody can be a teacher in this world yes absolutely well you know what i think part of this conversation of men and money and pressure is that there are very significant health consequences that then come about with this pressure which in many ways perhaps is also self-inflicted because a of lack of humility or you know feeling like we're the ones who know it all or that we have to you know be in a certain place we want instant success mm -hmm. and we want it overnight and in so um you know looking at some articles here the huffington posted a study showing that men are twice as likely to feel the financial burden in a relationship than women um uh, this was in 2016. All right. So while 31% of men felt that they should be more responsible than their partners for financial matters, only 14% of women felt the same. What's more is that men are twice as likely to feel that they must be emotionally strong and three times more likely to feel that they must take practical charge in a crisis than their female counterparts. But all of this is just compounding on that pressure. And you, 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 that pressure, the three of them, I like the way you have listed them. We have that one, they feel like it's them who are supposed to provide, always have money. We also need to adjust that. Uh, financial, financial growth is a journey. It's not a place you arrive mm -hmm. and say, I've arrived. Mm -hmm. And I want to ask men to be team players. If you have a woman in your life, make her team. There are things she can see. She has ideas that can advance you. Mm -hmm. Don't call her woman. What do you know? This is your part. This is your helper. Mm -hmm. And the fact that you chose her, say that you, you'd believe in her. Mm -hmm. and, and number two is, after we use team, because two people should be able to think better. You know, I'm emotionally strong. Men don't cry. Men don't clap. You know, hold in. You know. It's not about being rigid. Mm -hmm. If you go to the river, you find two, two, two plants there. There's sugar cane and then there's the reed. Sugar mm -hmm. cane is tough and it has joints, like muscle, six pack. So when the water begins to flow, it is tough, doesn't bend. Mm -hmm. Then water increases until it is overwhelmed and it breaks and goes swept mm -hmm. away. Mm -hmm. But the reed submitted on the first water, it just bent. Wow. And then water, when water goes, it stands again. Mm -hmm. Men, let's be flexible. You need a softness in life, persistent, yes, but a softness to be flexible. Yeah. And the thing, with, the thing what I can ask men is, it's okay when you're overwhelmed to admit you're overwhelmed. That's when you true. feel stressed, feel yeah. you're, say you're stressed. It does not make you weak, you're just human. Remember, yeah. all human beings, both male and female, operate from an emotional core. Can mm -hmm. we correct this, Joyce? Mm -hmm. People mm -hmm. say women are emotional and then men are what? All human beings are emotional, excuse me. Mm -hmm. We operate from an emotional core, all of us. Nobody is mechanical. Mm -hmm. And I ask many of you say you're not emotional. What is this anger that I see flaring? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? That's an emotion. <laughs> you know? Wow. So there's that pressure. And I, I, I agree with the article that men, we are on that kind of pressure. But the solution is instead of succumbing to the societal, you know, prejudices and, and, and uh, you know, stereotypes, can we just be practical, be grounded and allow, allow ourselves to grow and mm -hmm. play team with the people in our lives? That's right. Yeah. Let me read some comments here. Frank from Kajado says the period between 20 to 30 has to be the most worrisome part of adult life. You tend to worry so much. Your dreams, a life partner, finances, the future, etc. And your parents are getting old, everything. It's very easy to get depression and to easily fall into anxiety disorder. My take is this as one waits upon the Lord. Let's um, let's use, I guess, what we earn. Uh, or what we earn, let's spend it wisely and encourage a saving culture as opposed to spending. And I think this still relates to our topic because part of that pressure is is very external. It's about comparing ourselves to Nani. Or oh, this one is he is twenty eight na mesha no a BMW. Now Juali no And the biggest answer to that is to align our careers with your calling mm. so that it comes from within you. Study what you're good at, your inclinations from childhood, what have you always loved then start moving in that direction so that you find where you are naturally strong and good. So yeah. I agree with the guy that instead of comparing with who has gotten ahead first, who has bought a car first, yeah. be careful, be, be concerned about your journey yeah. and align your life with your interest. Eventually the money will come. Let, yeah. let tell men to value learning more than earning. Start with the learning first, yeah. then the earning will come. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Someone here says, uh, Ronald, okay, coach Ronald Tweet, Toek says he's watching from Carbonet and he says, uh, Joyce, 
men have difficulties with money uh zulu locusts were in cabernet recently okay um someone else says um man wanting money and success should be patient learn from different criteria work smart and be hopeful um asante sana for that um but also talking about then money men pressure and relationships okay because mm. this features very strongly right. when it That's always comes to relationships fatma from Ruai um, is asking, uh, you look great. Thank you very much for that. Say hi to Benjamin. Hi. And you say, I'm a fan of the show, but kindly ask, what do you do with a man who wants to be in a relationship, but nim kono birika? The way you put it. <laughs> There's no love without giving, please. Love comes with sharing. And if he's stingy and he wants you, that's a contradiction. You're going to live with a cockroach not Aya. a lover he's just taking away from you uh -huh. remember this a man cannot say i love you while still holding things back from you mm -hmm. the first sign that he loves you when you see that even if he has little he still wants to spoil you so how do you feel cherished and loved isn't it being treated being yeah. given yeah. so it's a contradiction that man has a, a, there's such a thing as loving disability so he has a disability <laughs> in loving so even with the giving it's not that it has to be extravagant it's mm -hmm. the thought that counts is Thank what you're saying the desire the longingness si hata kutolea koti wakati kuna nyesha yeah <laughs> you see him trying to give even uh, wakati prayer itoshi nyinyi wawili atakupatia kwanza na aseme let me nitatafuta njia yeah. for me you try, you see him trying to give and another thing i told women is don't ask for money let him try to see whether he senses that you need money so how are them when you are complain at ya jawatumia pesa ya saloon Hint, <laughs> hint at your need and see whether you respond. Yeah. You don't want to live a life where you have to state clearly, please give me money. It's tiring for you as a woman. It's actually humiliating. Yeah. You want him to look out. Are you okay? What might you need? You want a man who looks out. Okay. For you as a woman, hold yourself to a dignity that it's him coming to check whether we are in need. So don't start this pattern of listing what you need. Mm. It feels bad as a woman. Wow, Benjamin, thank you as always. Good talking to you. How can people reach you? Uh, my social media is Benjamin Zulu KE. Benjamin Zulu KE at Gmail. That's email Benjamin Zulu KE on all other platforms. Thank you all so much. All right. Thank you for coming. Twendelena social distancing. Na <laughs> kuwasha uh, mikono. But we do appreciate your time as always. And uh, hopefully, you guys have learned a thing or two there with that conversation. Men, money, and pressure. Sometimes it sounds like this pressure, we just put it on ourselves right mm -hmm. so right. it's not about things it's about just being able to maintain a certain lifestyle or at least just to be able to provide a decent lifestyle but also that a lot of that pressure is unwarranted okay and so for the men a challenge to you there from benjamin reach out and ask for help i like that analogy of the reed and the sugar cane very powerful analogy there and um certainly you know what in relationships there is no love without giving and giving is not extravagant it is the thought that counts. Great conversation here today. Asante Sana Benjamin.